and up and down. Wow, what amazing technique. No, I'm just kidding. Hey guys, welcome back. This is uh, me lifting on Thanksgiving week. So a few things happened this week, but anyways, let's talk about what we see on the screen. Uh, we see a man approximately uh, seven feet tall, uh, overhead pressing, what is that, 125 pounds for five? I'm pretty proud of that, honestly, and you know, even sort of controlled on the way down. So that's pretty nice. I didn't realize that, you know, I think relative to my bench and my squat, I'm good at overhead pressing and deadliftings, but I still didn't expect, you know, I think my overheads to be like as decent as they are. So yeah, this was a tiring week. So I think I alluded to it the week before, but I was pretty tired um, basically this entire week, mostly in the lower body, like quads completely fried. I'd been, you know, doing this program, but then in addition, I had added on uh, indoor biking and I did some pretty heavy uh, cardio a couple of times last week. And I also was walking 10,000 steps a day. So I think all those things together just fried my quads. And I think you'll see it on the deadlifts as well. I use kind of less quads just because they are so sore. And so I actually ended up skipping uh, squats on this week. Hopefully that turns out okay next week, but we'll just, you know, kind of pretend I did it this week. But anyways, I think it's a kind of a needed break. And then on these pull-ups, as you'll remember from last week, I did enough to do 50 reps total. Did not do that this week because that also ended up just completely destroying my lats. You know, I don't know if uh, I would have this problem if I was 10 years younger. I feel like, and maybe I'm wrong, I would be able to recover faster and I am so jealous of my former self. I could go on a rabbit hole about how jealous I am of a lot of people, you know, who have a, uh, I guess, yeah, you know, we'll, t we'll save that for another day. So here we are deadlifting, still able to use the overhand grip for, you know, up to 290, which I'm pretty happy with. And just racking the weights has gotten pretty tiring at this time. So maybe I will invest in, you know, a way to more easily offload the weights just because when you're doing these heavy weights, you know, you don't want to take like 20 minutes in between, but when you're kind of bent over or, you know, unracking the weights, it's, it's, uh, it's putting quite a strain on your lower back. So here you go doing the mixed grip with the right hand palm up. I try to do this because I, I think I only do like one rep like this, but I do this because I want to at least attempt to have some parity between uh, all the muscles in both arms. And there you, yeah, you see me switching back. So grip, not really a very limiting issue. And I think even psychologically, it actually helps me to do these lifts because it feels like I'm kind of using like a superpower. So I'll do the first two sets. And when the heaviest sets ro set rolls around, I feel like I have some kind of advantage. I mean, I do because I'm going to use a mixed grip. So I will say still, it feels a little bit like I have a little bit more in the tank and my grip is a limiting factor, but I don't think it's that significant to where I'm really like losing out anything more than like half to one rep. So that's not the worst thing. And so, like I said, a little, a little less quads used on these deadlifts just because it hurt so much, but pretty proud of this at least, you know, at least getting things done. So, you know, I ended up flying home for Thanksgiving and uh, benching over at a, uh, just, you know, a big old gym and just kind of doing the bare minimum. I'm pretty happy with that progress as well. You know, uh, I have at the very least gotten back to my uh, former, I guess, glory, if you want to call it that. So, you know, the maxes that I hit for these lifts before I started this channel, before all of this, you know, over the last six, like, seven, eight years, I've surpassed all that. And, you know, I, I did weigh significantly less. I weighed anywhere between like 155 and 165 when I, you know, had those maxes. But it does feel nice knowing that I have, you know, I'm I'm at the, I'm able to power lift, I guess, the most now uh, that, that I've ever been able to do. So that kind of makes you feel pretty young in some way, I think. And so I am pretty happy with that. So, yeah, like I said, uh, this is me lifting at some random gym, uh, very good likeness, uh, especially the weights. And yeah, uh, this honestly never feels that bad. The overhead pressing and the bench sessions, I'm, I think maybe the expectations just aren't there. 
but the squatting is always horrifying because I think if you fail, you fail at the bottom, right? With a deadlift, you just don't lift it. With a squat, you fail at the bottom. So anyways, we'll see what next week brings. I'm looking forward to it. We got one more month of 531 in uh, 2023. And I'm going to try and see if I can get some like data, I guess, together to kind of figure out kind of, you know, how far I've come and where I am now. And, you know, I plan on continuing this channel. So uh, maybe that'll help us compare, uh, you know, different uh, training methodologies or something uh, in the future. In any case, hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving, ate a bunch of food, don't regret it too much. And uh, yeah, get back to training. See ya.